Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, in various places on the internet. It is Tuesday, August 18, 2009, 11.11 a.m., and I'm doing another update of my Castlevania collection. I figure it's about time since, since it's been a while since the last update. Alright, so uh, let's start from. We're going to do this in rough chronological order here. I'll start with the uh, NES games. I got Castlevania. Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. I got that from my friend Tommy. And I got the original Castlevania from uh, the great guys at Gamers Anonymous. So let's see, where's my three? I got this one myself, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. This was my first Castlevania game, actually. And uh, I got it at Toys R Us, you know, back when they were selling NES games really cheap. You would take the uh, ticket out of the pouch on the wall and you'd take it over to a counter and get the game over there. Alright. And uh, let's see. Uh, might as well do the Game Boy games next. Okay. Castlevania The Adventure for the original Game Boy. I believe I got that at the flea market here. This one I got in Illinois at a uh, GameStop. It's Castlevania Legends for the original Game Boy. It's a Super Game Boy card. Okay. Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse Instruction Manual. Still have it. Here is the Castlevania Legends walkthrough in Nintendo Power. See it's advertised on the front cover there. There it is. This is a cool walkthrough. Oddly enough, even though I was so excited when I got that Nintendo Power with the walkthrough, it turned out I already had it. I'd gotten that in Chicago when I briefly lived there in you know, late 2005, early 2006, but I actually had gotten this same issue earlier, I believe at like some kind of thrift store right here in Florida. So that's kind of strange, but so I have two copies of it. For the sake of Genesis, Castlevania Bloodlines. You open up the box here. I got, I got this from the guys at Gamers Anonymous. Alright. I got the cartridge. And the instruction manual. Super Castlevania 4 for the Super NES. I also got this from the guys at Gamers Anonymous. Let's open it up. This is my first time actually opening it up, actually. Let's see what we have in here. We have the cartridge. And some order forms. This is a precautions booklet. And here's the instruction manual. Okay. Alright. 
let's move on to Nintendo 64. This is a this is Castlevania for the Nintendo 64. Popularly called Castlevania 64, even though it isn't. Got this at the flea market by my house for five bucks, but I couldn't get to work. So the guys at Gamers Anonymous got me another one. As well as Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, the sequel, director's cut, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's check out the uh, Game Boy Advance now. Castlevania Circle of the Moon, that's the launch title. And, by the way, I, I get all these at uh, GameStop. Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. And another copy of it that I got from the guys at Gamers Anonymous. I guess they just thrown in there for free. Well, that was nice for them. Um, Classic NES series, Castlevania. That's the original NES game. Uh, game Boy Advance cartridge. Castlevania Double Pack. And I just got this one uh, two days ago. And uh, this, actually what it is, is Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance and Castlevania Araya of Sorrow on the same cartridge. I guess because Araya of Sorrow like, sold out or whatever and it's I can't find Araya of Sorrow uh, in an in individual original cartridge even though I want to get one so this is the only way that I can get it so now I've got like three copies of Harmony of Dissonance but anyway um, Castlevania Chronicles for the original PlayStation it's basically a remake of the first game, or a re or an update of a remake, or whatever. Um, I got that one at uh, EB Games before it merged with GameStop. Um, all right, uh, PS Two, Castlevania: Lament of Innocence. It's actually the second of. It's the second game that I got for the PS2, but it was the first one released. Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. And that's it. That's my Castlevania collection as it stands today. Oh yeah, and the stupid Worlds of Power novelization of Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. Forgot to mention that, but yes, I still have it. In case you were wondering, 